Hey guys, what's up? My name's Jared, and today we're gonna to be talking about DJI's new release, the DJI Mavic Mini. All right, so my name's Jared. If you're new here, subscribe, click the like button. I'm gonna be uploading videos weekly, and maybe some bonus videos there in between about cameras, business, different things that I go through as a full-time video creator. Today, DJI had their Fly As You Are event, and it was all based around the new release of the Mavic Mini. And sorry if I keep looking over here, I'm gonna be referring to my notes about it. So DJI dropped this new drone because of all the regulation changes in the US and Canada. They wanted to come out with a drone that is under the legal requirement for when you have to get a license. So in Canada and the US, this when a drone gets over 250 grams, you have to get a license and do all these tests and register your drone and everything. In Canada, I had to register the drone, which is $5, wasn't that much. But then I had to do the, at least the basic test, which for me, I failed twice. So it costed me $30 total, it's $10 a pop each time. So DJI wanted to make it more accessible for people with beginner drones or getting into flying drones, make it easier for them to get into it and to fly and taking those tests just to be able to fly the drone in your backyard. It's a little ridiculous, it restricts a lot of people from buying drones. So this is their solution to that. So going over some of the specs, this drone is 249 grams, one gram under, which blows my mind. The size comparison, I'll put like two pictures here maybe, of the size comparison between them. And it's it's crazy how they managed to pack in this much into a drone that light and small. Like there's nothing that comes close to it, especially from a well-respected company like DJI. Now this drone still manages, even with its small size, to keep a three axis gimbal, and the camera itself shoots 2.7K at 30 frames per second in 2.7K and 25 frames per second. Now there's no 23.976 like a lot of people use or 24 frames a second, it's just 25 and 30. In 1080p, you can do, let me check. In 1080p, you can record at 25, 30, 50, and 60 FPS. So that's the only slow motion ish you're gonna get. Now in the 2.7K and the 1080p, you're gonna be recording at 40 megabits a second. Megabytes, megabits. I never know which one's right. The camera is also 12 megapixels, so for photos, it's gonna be pretty good. Maybe not from a sensor that small. It's gonna be like good cell phone quality. Now what's crazy with this camera is that even though it's so small and so light and compact, because it's so light, the batteries are very small, very light, yet you're still able to fly to what DJI says up to 30 minutes, which after a couple uses, I'm gonna take it at about mid to low 20 minutes per flight. Now this also ships with a cool little carrying case. At least I know what the fly more combo it's going to. And I'm gonna put a picture here that looks, looks like a very nice case. It's a hard case, which is very nice as well. Now with the drone going under the 250 grams means you don't have to get a license and do the test, but it still does not mean you can fly to an airport and fly it wherever you want. You still have to follow the rules. It's just for beginners to be able to fly at different events or different things they want to capture when, on, when they're on vacation and stuff like that. They don't have to worry about regulations for the weight in other countries. It just makes it a lot easier to get into flying drones without having to do the tests. And that's where DJI really nailed down the point that this is not a Mavic Air, Mavic Pro, Zoom, or whatever replacement. This is a beginner drone for people that want to get into it. This is not like for your professionals and stuff like that. Unless you really need it for a specific situation, it's going to be mostly for beginners. The price is half the price, even a third of the price of the drone I use, the Mavic 2 Pro. It's not going to replace that because the price in you in the US, so in US dollars, it's $399, which converted into Canadian when I looked on B&H is about $522 Canadian. And for the Fly More combo, it's 499 US, which in Canada comes out to about 650. All in all, I love what DJI is doing with this. You may get one. I don't know. I, it's pre-order. I have to see. But I'm very excited for the size and weight of this thing and for what it can do in such a small package. Like The thing is like this big. It's tiny. The, the video quality from what I saw, is, it's nothing compared to the other Mavics, the full-size ones. They weren't trying to replace that drone. 
So the footage is gonna be about the same as you'd see from the Spark, but in 2.7K. It's doable, it's all right. For your average consumer, it's gonna be great. Now, if you guys like the videos I'm posting, please subscribe, like the video and comment with any questions or anything you wanna talk about down below. I'm gonna read all the comments and uh, try and get back to as many people as I can. Now, I'm gonna keep posting every week with some filler content that I'm gonna be posting, like a shoot I have later this week. I'm gonna be posting some cool B-roll on this channel from the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K now that I got it all rigged out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.